What's going on guys, my name's Theo Atrix and today we saw an update containing a few very small game changes and a big statement about what Jagex plans to do with the Revenant Caves. If you saw my recent Revenant Caves video, you'll know that Jagex was planning to make some changes due to the caves facilitating gold farming. Big protection clans would lock down the Revenant's area and farm gold that would later be sold for real life money. Before I discuss that, I'll quickly let let you guys know about all of today's smaller changes. So firstly there was some changes to the toxic blowpipe. You can now swap the type of darts inside the blowpipe without having to unload it first. This update helps during non-stop PVM challenges like the inferno or the fight caves. You'll be able to quickly swap from a low cost dart to a stronger one when you're fighting more powerful monsters without interrupting your combat as much. Last week's update made it so that the teleports on the Lunar and Ancient Spellbook could now be created at a lectern, on either Lunar Isle or in the Ancient Magic Pyramid in the desert. But with that, for some reason they removed the warning message that told you that the teleport will take you into the wilderness. This opened doors to many new lures, and for example you'd get given a cemetery teleport, and since there's multiple cemeteries all across RuneScape, it was hard to realise that this this one was in fact in the wilderness. With today's game update, the warning that it's in the wildy has been added back. In today's update, Jagex also released some proposed ideas about some PvP content. They plan to make Vesta's Longsword usable on PvP worlds, where currently you can only use it on bounty target worlds in the wilderness. So this would make more use for the sword. Jagex has also proposed to make blighted items usable on PvP worlds, not just in the wilderness, which will definitely lower the cost of supplies when you're PKing. So now let's talk about Jagex's decision about the Revenant Caves. At the time of release, the Revenant Caves were intended to be a multi-combat PvP hotspot bringing big clan battles to one certain part of the wilderness. Over the years though, the caves have become a place riddled with gold farmers. There's a number of revenant protection clans out there, where these groups will lock down certain worlds and kill any player that enters the area so that the clan can harvest gold and loot endlessly. This type of gameplay isn't against the rules by any means, but these clans facilitate a lot of gold farming, where most of the players in these clans spend their days here on multiple accounts farming gold to sell for real life money. I made a video a few weeks ago discussing the proposed changes by the old school team and there were seven proposed changes but you'll see today that they've narrowed it down to two of them. In the latest post, Jagex tells us that they completed their data collection that they were originally talking about doing. The data they were collecting included the amount of GP coming into the game from the caves, the unique number of players using the content, and most importantly, the amount of gold farming and selling activity that's going on. From this data, they found that indeed the Revenant Caves are not good for the game at all, and there's a lot of problems within. So after they proposed those seven changes, the most popular resolution among players was to take the Revenants out of the caves and make them roam the wilderness like it was back in the day. Jagex decided though that this was not the way to go, and the reason behind this is they think it would get in the way of a lot of other wilderness content. PVMers in the wilderness will get PJ'd commonly by the Revenants, ruining their PVM activity, and people PKing will also experience PJing from these Revenants. In addition, PKers will likely find that it's harder to find an opponent to fight, simply because players will be spread all over the wilderness. The second most popular resolution was to modify the layout and mechanics of the Revenant Caves, and this is the main resolution that Jagex has chosen to go with. Firstly, to free up space in the Revenant Caves, they'll be rehoming all of the other monsters that are there to a cave northwest of Venenatus, and in this new cave there will be a boosted chance of getting Laren's Keys, which makes it a great place to train Wilderness Slayer. 
then all of the revenants will be distributed throughout the entirety of the caves. And this resolves the issues that arose from revenant protection clans, since they won't be able to hold down one single area. Although if the clan is big enough, that could still be an issue if they can spread themselves out in smaller groups. So to solve that, Jagex will be introducing a new type of area setting called Singles Plus. Singles Plus is an area of single way combat. However, if a player is attacking an NPC, they can still be attacked by another player that takes them out of combat with the monster and into player versus player. This is different to single combat, where if you're in a fight with an NPC, other players are unable to attack you. Single way combat allows players to box an NPC to stay out of PvP. So with singles plus, they won't be able to do that if a PKer rolls by. So the entire Revenant Caves will be this new setting, and this will certainly stop clans from being able to hold down the area and rush players that aren't a part of their clan. Lastly, Jagex will be making changes to the drop table of Revenants, and they haven't given us any precise details on what changes they'll be making, except they state that they'll be altering the mechanic where Skulled players have a better chance of more loot. So my guess is that they'll either be removing that completely or making it less powerful. So that's what's going to happen to the Revenants. Overall, they'll be changing it so the Revenants are spread out across the caves and they'll be adding singles plus to combat against clans. This is a great approach to the problem in my opinion, but it does steer away from the original idea of the Revenant Caves to make it a multi-combat PvP hotspot. I suppose it is very hard to keep this aspect alive while stopping the mass amounts of clans that are facilitating the real world trading. So what do you think? Are you happy with this resolution? Do you think it will stop the gold farming activity? Or are there still other problems that need to be addressed? In other news, Ron Plays Games is running a new game show series on Twitch with Who Wants to Be a Millionaire and Deal or No Deal RuneScape Edition. There will be nine RuneScape content creators playing once a week and it started on the 6th of October, so yesterday. I'll be playing Deal or No Deal on the 10th of November at 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. So if you want to watch me play, mark your calendars and bookmark the link to Ron's channel, which is down in the description. With today's video, you can get a huge 20% off all of the posters on my merch store by using the coupon code REVS. There's four poster designs in stock and they're all made of synthetic paper, so they look really crisp on the wall and they're almost impossible to tear. So check out the link down below to go to my merch store and use the code REVS to save 20%. Anyways, leave a like if you enjoyed these kinds of update videos and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.